The Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series was on track for the second restrictor plate race of the year, this one coming at Talladega Super Speedway. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. starts the race from the pole, with Dale Earnhardt Jr. also starting up front, but it's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. who jumps out front early. At the end of stage one, it's Brad Keselowski, despite having trash on his grill, goes on to get the stage win. He gains those valuable 10 bonus points. And when we fast forward to the end of stage two, it's Denny Hamlin winning his first stage of the year. And Denny gets the 10 bonus points as well. But it's Ryan Blaney, Martin Truex Jr. and Jimmy Johnson who make contact crossing the finish line that had fans on the edge of their seat. On to lap 160, we would see the yellow Ryan Blaney. He gets tagged by the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. That sends Blaney into the wall, and that would be too far gone to fix. Blaney would go behind the wall and finish his day in 39. On lap 68, we see the big one when Chase Elliott, he gets turned by A.J. Allmendinger. This sets off a chain reaction wreck. Watch as Chase rides the wall. A.J. goes over on his lid. They would have to flip that car over to get A.J. Allmendinger out and check out the view from Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car. He was able to steer clear. Luckily for everyone involved, all of the drivers were checked and released from the infield care center. After a lengthy red flag, we went back racing, and with three to go, Ryan Newman bounces off the inside wall. Dale Earnhardt Jr., yet again, another steer clear move, narrowly missing Ryan Newman. That yellow sets up NASCAR overtime. And on the final restart, Kyle Busch leads them to the line, but Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who had the fastest car all day long, made his way around Kyle Busch, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. gets his first Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series win and sends Jack Roush to victory lane for the first time since 2014. For NASCAR.com, I'm Jonathan Merriman.